The Russian collusion investigation uncovered text messages calling Obama's intelligence agencies spying on Trump's campaign an insurance policy against the risk that Trump might win. Do you remember that? Well, what insurance policies, asks Joy Pullman, did the Democrats take out in 2020? Democrats' allies in big tech rigged search results and online conversations to hide news that was harmful to Joe Biden. Their allies in big media refused to report on stories harmful to Biden or ask him difficult questions. Um, And then, of course, there's 2020 stampede into mass mail-in voting under the guise of COVID. Mail-in voting increases fraud and error rates to within election-winning margins, as well as the ability to manipulate election outcomes by contesting ballots. Joy Pullman says no one can blame voters for being confused before, during, or after the election. It was confusing. It is confusing. Democrats filed the lawsuits that caused the uncertainty, decided they would simply declare victory amid the ongoing chaos they deliberately created, and let media and courts seal the steel. It worked perfectly, except that the election was so unexpectedly close, people noticed. Now, this is a very lengthy article. We're we're, we're posting it at MikeOnline.com. I want you to read it, but let let me wrap up with what her takeaway is, then I want to get your reaction to it all at 1-800-655-MIKE. COVID was clearly 2020's excuse, their excuse to confuse the election. Democrats inflamed COVID with false and exaggerated claims that played on the American people's fears rather than our prudence and courage, all to get Trump. Just like the fake Russian collusion was their pretext for undermining 2016, COVID was their pretext for undermining the 2020 election results. On November 2nd, after about half the votes in the entire election had been cast, the Centers for Disease Control told the world that people who actually had a live COVID infection could safely vote in person on November 3rd after Democrats had spent the entire year telling courts, lawmakers, and the public this scenario was the reason we needed to drastically weaken the election process and vote from home. What a joke, she writes. Just like Spygate, this entire thing has been one information operation layered on top of another. Enough people fell for it that now about half the country has no confidence that the election results, we're told, are the genuine results are real. You know what? People are right. We'll never know the real result, Joy Pullman at the Federalist writes, thanks to mail-in ballots. And that was the goal all along. Again, Joy uh, Pullman's piece is posted at MikeOnline.com from the Federalist. Was insecure voting this year's insurance policy? To me, one of the major takeaways is, in Georgia, don't mail in your ballot. Go to the polls show up, put a mask on, socially distance, and vote. The other part of this takeaway, we can't play games with Georgia. No shenanigans here in terms of, uh, you know, a, 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 a tear it all down philosophy, burn it all down, take a, take a wrecking ball to Georgia. No, we're going to support David Perdue and Kelly Leffler because we cannot dare allow the Democrats to get control of the Senate.